Cullen stage now. Keep it going for Lucas Waterfield. I'm better than most people. And not because of my disability, but because of the stupid shit people say to me constantly. Like the other day, I was rolling down the street and I was stopped at a crosswalk. And this woman came right up next to me and she said, may I pray for you? And I said, sure. Thinking that she would pray away from me Like in private, <laughs> at her own home. But no, she proceeded to put her hand on my shoulder and yell, Jesus Christ, please heal this man from his head down to his toes. And at first I was pissed. But then I looked at her. I looked at my feet. I looked at her. I looked at my feet. I looked at her. I go, it's working. <laughs> It's working! I can feel! I can feel! And she starts speaking in tongues. Blah, 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 blah. And I go, I can feel! And a third man walks up to us and he goes, Please, sir, stop mocking that mentally handicapped woman. <laughs> people ask weird questions about my condition, you know? They always ask, Did I, do I feel out of place in social situations? And I'm like, I used to. I used to feel out of place. I used to feel like an outcast, like I didn't belong. But then I started drinking with other alcoholics. <laughs> So I feel more part of the group now. I feel more comfortable. You know, I don't know if I'm an alcoholic or not. Um, it's hard to tell nowadays, you know? The definition is too loose. It's hard to tell. The questions they ask are too loose. Like, do you drink when you're depressed? Well, yeah. I want to be happy. <laughs> Do you drink when you're alone? Well, when I'm alone, I'm depressed. <laughs> We've been through this. You keep asking the same question. I think by our definition, anyone could be an alcoholic. I think by our definition, anyone could be. I think by our definition, Jesus Christ himself was an alcoholic. <laughs> Could you imagine Jesus in AA? <laughs> Hello, my name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, I'm the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. And yes, I'm an alcoholic. I first realized I had a problem when I would go to parties. And when the parties were over, instead of just going home, I would start turning all the water into <laughs> wine. <laughs> and and um, I'm a mean drunk, so what I would do, I would go to Temple and just start flipping all the tables <laughs> over. And then I started doing something weird. I don't know why. I started washing random women's feet. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I thought that's what they wanted. Um, the game the prostitutes. Uh, I don't make much on a carpenter's salary. 
So I would have to pay them with whatever I have, which is eternal life. Um, then my father forsaked me, and uh, I had a hangover la that lasted like three days. <laughs> but I've been sober ever since. <laughs> I've been sober for about 2017 years now. <laughs> and I do what every sober person does. I just sit around and judge people all day. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to hell for that joke. <laughs> I was going to hell long before that joke, though. Because little known secret, all crippled people go to hell. It's true. There's too many steps to get to heaven. But, but we're trying to get it changed. We really are. We're trying to get it changed. But you see, heaven's a historical landmark. <laughs> so we can't get that stuff changed. But Peter yells down to us every now and then. He, uh, he says, how are you guys do doing down there? And we're like, you know, it's hell. It could be better, but we're all right. We're like, sorry, he's like, sorry about that. We got some big guys up here who can lift you up. And we're like, no, we don't want to be a burden. <laughs> what about Jesus? Where, he, where is he? Oh, he's in a meeting or something. <laughs> well, we don't need a miracle. We just really need a ramp. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you. That's my time.